हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डू क्विक रिवीजन ऑफ चैप्टर नंबर सेवन कोऑर्डिनेट ज्योमेट्री पार्ट टू इन पार्ट वन वी हैड स्टडीड अबाउट द डिस्टेंस फॉर्मूला सेक्शन फॉर्मूला एंड मिड पॉइंट फॉर्मूला नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट हाउ टू फाइंड द एरिया ऑफ ट्राइंगल वेन थ्री कोर्डिनेट्स आर गिवन टू यू एंड देन वी आर गोइंग टू डू क्विक रिविजन ऑफ एक्सरसाइज सेवन पॉइंट थ्री एन सी आई टी क्लास टेंथ मैथमेटिक्स so first of all look here this is a triangle three coordinates are given to us and if we want to find out the area of this triangle we can find out directly area of triangle equals to half into first i am showing you the shortcut that you can use while remembering this formula x y minus y plus x y minus y plus x y minus y so this way you can remember this first you have to write down half into x y minus y plus x y minus y plus x y minus y then 1 2 3 1 2 then take this one at the last 2 3 1 then take this two at the last 3 1 2 so this way you can remember this formula this is the formula for finding the area of triangle when three coordinates are given to you so now let us start finding the area of this three coordinate you have to suppose this any one is x1 y1 this will be x2 y2 you can take this also as x2 y2 if you want to take or you can take this also you then this will become x3 y3 whatever you you want to give names you can give to this name now let us start by putting this in this half into x1 1 into y2 means 6 minus minus 5 so 6 minus minus 5 will become plus 5 then x2 minus 4 into y3 minus 5 minus minus 1 so minus 5 plus 1 minus 5 plus 1 and plus x3 that is minus 3 then y1 minus minus 1 minus 6 so this way first we have to put the numbers and then we have to solve it 1 multiply with 6 plus 5 11 plus minus 4 multiply with minus 4 plus minus 3 multiply with minus 7 then you have to multiply 11 ones 11 minus 4 into minus 4 plus 16 and plus is there so plus 16 minus minus plus again 7 is at 21 now you have to add this all numbers 6 7 8 and 4 48 into half therefore 24 so the area of this triangle will be 24 cm or unit square you can write down because here they had not given us any unit so you have to write down unit square unit or oh. now moving towards exercise 7.3 so this exercise 7.3 is having the same thing what we had learned how to find out the area but again they will give you different type of sums we have to find out this only area only but in different ways in different sums look here first find the area of triangle whose vertices are so here they had given simple three coordinates and then you have to find out the area so you can directly put this area then this formula and put the numbers you will get the answer now second in each of the following find the value of k for which the points are collinear so here they said the points are collinear so first of all you should know what are collinear point when three points or more points are on the same line same straight line when all the points are on the same straight line then that all points are called called collinear points so here all the three points are collinear so what will be the area of this triangle formed with these three points we know we had not got any triangle only so we can say the area of triangle will be equals to zero when the points are collinear we have to take area of triangle as zero so what now we have to do they told you to find out the value of k so now we are going to put this uh, equals to zero and then half and then all the numbers 
now here you will get k so you will get one equation in this sums and then you can find out the value of k easily but here you have to take equal to zero because then on then and only then you will get an equation and then you can find out the value of k by putting the number in this now third question find the area of triangle formed by joining the midpoints of the sides of the triangle or vertices means they had given us um, three vertices of a triangle and they told you that find out the midpoint of this all three means these are the midpoints that we have to find out and they had given us these three coordinates in your textbook but how we can find out the midpoint in my previous video i told you that we can find out with the midpoint formula that is x equals to x1 plus y x2 sorry x1 plus x2 by 2 this will um, the sum of this also x1 plus x3 by 2 here and here x2 plus x3 by 2 so this way we can find out the midpoint first we have to find out x coordinate then y coordinate in y coordinate y1 plus y2 by 2 here y1 plus y3 by 2 and here y2 plus y3 by 2 so this way we can find out the midpoint of all this number then you have to form this triangle so then you have to find out the area of this triangle also and the bigger triangle also then after taking finding the area you have to divide and find out the ratio so this will be suppose this will be 4 and if the whole area is 16 so 4 by 16 1 is to 4 so the, the ratio will be 1 is to 4 so that way you have to solve this now moving towards the next find the area of quadrilateral vertices are taken in order this you have to keep in mind they, look here they said taken in order first you have to arrange the coordinates because if they these coordinates are not arranged properly and if you try to find out the area you will not get but here they told that these all coordinates are in order so first you have to draw one quadrilateral and then you have to write down all the coordinates second one this will be your third one by mistake if you write this 3 comma minus 2 here then your sum will become wrong so they told us these are in order and at last only this will come first second third fourth or if you want to start with here first second third fourth then also but it should be in order in in many textbook or in, in other reference books also they had given they had only said these are the four coding at that time you have to arrange this all on cartesian plane and um, then you have to give them name a b c d and then only you have to start the sum. now we don't have any formula for finding the area of quadrilateral so what we have we are going to either join this or either join this so what will happen if i will join this i will get two triangle so separately i have to find out the area of both this triangle and then we have to add that then we will get the area of you can, area of triangle you can cut like this also or if you want to cut you can cut like this also whatever way you can cut and find out the area now at the last sum you have studied in class 9 that the median of a triangle divides uh, it into two triangles of equal area we had studied in 9 standard sta 9 standard that the median of a triangle median means line from one vertex intersecting the midpoint of the opposite side so this is one one of the vertex and this is the midpoint of this bc and if we draw a line intersecting at the midpoint of this side then that line is called median median divides the triangle into two equal areas not into equal parts two equal areas so now we have to prove that so they had given us these three coordinates now what we have to do with the help of this first we will find out the midpoint and then we will find out the area of both this triangle if the area is same directly we can say the median divides the triangle into two equal areas so this way you can solve this sum thank you so much for watching my video if you like it please subscribe to my channel so that i can bring more such videos for you thank you so much